And as you can see, the rain is coming down. It's getting heavier and heavier, and the wind gusts are starting to pick up. In fact, Bay County emergency officials say that some of these gusts are life-threatening. And so now, with the exception of fire services uh, within the, the city of Panama City, uh, they are unable to uh, make emergency fire and, uh, and rescue calls within Bay County. County. Uh, this is something that they had been warning about as conditions began to deteriorate. Uh, in addition to the, the winds picking up and the heavy winds, another concern is storm surge. Those heavy winds from the, the hurricane washing masses of amounts of water ashore in some parts of the panhandle. The storm surge could exceed 13 feet. Most people have heeded the mandatory evacuations in low-lying areas, but for those who decided to hunker down and kind of wait and see what was going on, their window of opportunity of leaving is rapidly closing. Here's what Governor Scott had to say about that this morning. If you're in inland county, you may have one last chance to seek shelter, but only do so if local officials say it's safe. Again, if you made the choice not to evacuate, Please find a place to shelter, seek a place of refuge. But if it, if it is not safe to leave your home, don't leave. The worst thing you can do now is leave and put yourself and your family in danger. Yeah, that window op of opportunity rapidly closing. We still have power where we are. We expect to lose it as the conditions worsen. More than 17,000 utility workers are at various staging areas to quickly respond once the hurricane conditions pass to restore power as quickly as possible.